rated T for teen. Blacklight, uh, it's all about the multiplayer. Um, we have seven modes um, for players to choose from. Blacklight game modes will be the standard game modes that you expect and everyone loves. Deathmatch, team deathmatch, control points, capture the flag, and uh, demolition mode. Instead of doing what a lot of other developers do and trying to make a game mode that no one's played before, which usually no one plays, we took the Blacklight universe and added things to that. With control points, you don't just stand in a radius. You can do that, but you can also hack that object by playing a minigame. We took a lot of those systems and we, we changed the game so much that it's a lot more fresh. So now when you plant a bomb, you actually go through a detonation sequence that plants the bomb as well as a defusal sequence if you want to take the bomb away. The co-op mode is different than the multiplayer mode in the fact that they're based off the multiplayer maps using the same art and everything, but co-op is different in the sense that you have to do objectives and you have to find control points and you have to close and open different objects that allows you to progress. So it's a more linear combat speed versus running around a smaller deathmatch or a team deathmatch map. With co-op, it is you and your buddies, up to four friends, playing against AI, playing playing against these massive amounts of people trying to kill you. I'm super proud of our co-op missions. I've tested all these missions kind of by myself. And once I got someone else in the level with me, they, they changed. It was just a totally different experience. It's, it's one thing to just fight a bunch of AI by yourself, but with your buddies, uh, being able to flank the AI, all these co-workers of mine, we play this game every day and we still have a lot of fun with it. The co-op missions are a lot of fun. We really tried to take the level of AI as much as we could without putting your system on its knees. We really want the players to be frantic and yelling at each other over their headsets because the idea of going from multiplayer to a single player experience, we didn't want to make a single player experience. We wanted to make a co-op experience. We wanted co-op to be something that you would play over and over and over again. That's why we added more dynamic systems and randomization of where the AI spawn. So we don't want the player to play it once and never play it again. We want the player to play it over and over again. We allow you to get your stats that add towards all your weapons throughout the game. So if you played co-op missions a hundred times, versus once, you would actually unlock new ranks and you would unlock new weapons. We really wanted to make co-op there for players that didn't want to play against other players and they wanted to play their buddies online. So that's kind of what we did. We didn't want to tell a story, we wanted to make it replayable. Players can expect from the multiplayer very fast action. You are not going to be creeping slowly through a hall. You're going to be running full bore, trying to find that next target or trying to stay away from that guy hunting you down. So the speed of it and the fast paced action will really keep it alive and it will keep it really going quickly and, and huge action is what we really wanted to have the player experience with multiplayer itself. We didn't change much in the sense of making the player have to learn new systems other than I fire at someone, I shoot, I make my weapon. It, it should be a very simple experience for the player to get, but with HRV and the different weapon balancing, it's easy to pick up, but it's hard to master, essentially. So that's what we really wanted to do. We wanted to give the player something very simple to understand, but when they get the game, they'll find the different layers and they'll slowly start to master those until, the fact, until they become the best they can be. The future of warfare is just around the corner. Download Blacklight Tango Down this summer 